Sure, everyone loves a good party, but if you're gonna celebrate something, make sure you're doing it right. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the top 5 myths about Cinco de Mayo. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. This historical holiday has acquired the reputation of being a serious fiesta, but in their hurry to get in on the fun, many people have skimmed over the finer details. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, that's why it's named that, because yeah. sinkholes happen in the summertime. So come along as we debunk some of the most common misconceptions so you can do the holiday some justice. Myth number five, it's Mexican Independence Day. Mexico does have an Independence Day, but it's celebrated each year on September 16th, whereas Cinco de Mayo, which translates to the 5th of May, takes place on, surprise surprise, May 5th. Oh, why can't they just call it May 5th? Cinco de Mayo is actually held in honor of the 1862 Battle of Puebla, where the Mexican army managed to defeat the French, who, by some estimates, outnumbered the Mexican forces either 2 to 1 or 3 to 1. Although the French ultimately proved victorious in their Mexican campaign, the Battle of Puebla became a symbol of Mexican unity and identity. Viva Mexico! In more recent decades, the holiday has evolved, at least in the United States, into more of a general celebration of Mexican-American identity. Myth number four, everyone wears sombreros. <laughs> Now we've got some history under our belts, we can start to get into the many false assumptions people make about Cinco de Mayo. While one commonly hears that everyone is Irish on St. Patrick's Day, the same logic should not be applied to this Mexican holiday. Unfortunately, many people not of Mexican descent seem to have missed out on that memo and celebrate the holiday by appropriating Mexican culture in the form of sobreros or other stereotypical apparel. <laughs> People without Mexican heritage can partake in the celebrations, but if they do, it should be done more respectfully. Celebrate the culture, don't parody it. At the Battle of Puebla, people weren't wearing sombreros, and you shouldn't either. Myth number three, tequila is the drink of choice. Yeah. Tequila! The holiday has earned a hard partying reputation, and the alcohol does tend to flow relatively freely. But isn't that the case with many holidays? The aforementioned St. Patty's Day, the 4th of July, New Year's, whenever and wherever people are celebrating, alcohol tends to be consumed in excess. Despite what many of you may have heard, however, margaritas were not invented specifically for Cinco de Mayo. In fact, tequila, despite being intertwined with Mexican culture, isn't even the right beverage to be drinking. Arguably the most traditional beverage associated with Cinco de Mayo, particularly in Puebla City, is Agua Fresca. And guess what? It's not even alcoholic. Come on, man. Delicious agua fresca made of rice, cinnamon, and milk? Myth number two, tacos are the dish of choice. Who wants a taco? <laughs> we've covered the clothing and the drinks, so naturally we've got to address the culinary elephant in the room as well. We've said it before, but we'll say it again. Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican holiday, but that doesn't mean you can simply consume the most common Mexican dishes and call it celebrating. Yes, in America on Cinco de Mayo, a lot of tacos are going to be consumed, and there's nothing inherently wrong with eating them, it's just got nothing to do with Cinco de Mayo. If you're actually looking to celebrate the occasion, try a dish that's actually traditional with Puebla City, like mole poblano, chalupas, or chilies en nogada. Myth number one, it's celebrated throughout Mexico. Cinco de Mayo is as Mexican as it gets. Admittedly, this one catches a lot of people off guard. But unlike Mexican Independence Day, which is the biggest holiday in Mexico and is celebrated across the nation, Cinco de Mayo recognizes a very regionally specific event. And while the Battle of Puebla was a historically significant event to the country, nowadays it is an official holiday only in that region. So why am I celebrating the Cinco de Mayo with complete strangers? Unsurprisingly, Puebla City continues to host the largest and most significant Cinco de Mayo festivities anywhere in the world. With the exception of Puebla City and its surrounding regions, however, the holiday is significantly bigger in the US than Mexico, as Mexican-American populations have embraced it as an opportunity to celebrate and strengthen their community. <laughs> so which of these myths did you believe? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.